Hey, hello to all. In this video, we are going to discuss one of the name reaction that is a Noyori asymmetric hydrogenation. The Noyori asymmetric hydrogenation is an enantioselective reduction of the ketone and related functional group. What is mean by the hydrogenation of the ketone? It simply means the conversion of the ketone to the alcohol. This Noyori is an asymmetric hydrogenation of the ketone and the related functional group. What we call as an enantioselective hydrogenation. This name reaction was introduced by Yoji Noyori, who shared Nobel Prize in 2001 for asymmetric synthesis. The, this Noyori asymmetric hydrogenation involved the catalyst. Now, which catalyst is involved in this name reaction? It is a BINAP, rudenium halide or carboxylate which is used for the hydrogenation of the functionalized ketone and another one that is a BINAP rudenium halide with an diamine and some sort of the bases are also used over here that is used for the reduction of the that is we can call it as an hydrogenation of the simple ketone. What is now the question is that what is this BINAP? The BINAP if we see the name of this of this catalyst it is a 2 comma 2 beat diphenyl phosphine 1 comma 1 pinaphthyl this is a uh, one of the chiral diphosphine ligand which is used widely for the asymmetric synthesis now after seeing the name of this ligand we will see the structure this this is how the pinap ligand look like there are the two form of this ligand that is sbinap and rbinap if you carefully observe this structure, the, these two ligands are chiral in nature. Now how the chirality come in this molecule? The chirality is introduced in this molecule due to the phenomenon called as an ortrop isomer. Ortrop isomer that is the rotation around these bond is restricted due to which a chirality is introduced. You can see here the, the, uh, the bond which is highlighted in a red color it is coming towards you while another bonds are back side. Similarly, in the R binap, you can see the red side bond which are highlighted are towards you while the remaining structure is below the plane. This is how the chirality is get introduced in the in this structure. That is a binap ligand. The binap ligand along with the rudenium complex, that is rudenium halide or carboxylate, form the catalyst in the Noyori asymmetric hydrogenation. Now, after seeing this. We will see the mechanism that how this uh, how this uh, ligand and the catalyst that is a rudenium is used for doing the hydrogenation of a ketone, a functionalized ketone as well as the simple ketone. Let us focus on the mechanism of the Noyori asymmetric hydrogenation. You can see here this is the catalyst. Okay, this is the catalyst that is a one of the kind of the complex of the rhodium and the binap. Binap is a diphosphine ligand. We already know that instead of writing the complete structure of the binap, we just write here phosphine and uh, represent the remaining structure by this, uh, by this. And this is a complex which is used for the hydrogenation of the uh, of the ketone. Now, what is the first step over here? That is to this complex, we add the hydrogen molecule. What will be what will be occur in the first step that one of the Cl ligand will remove from here which will combine with one of the hydrogen and the Cl will replace by one of the hydrogen molecule. This is how the structure will look like. After that the ketone molecule which uh, for, uh, to which the hydrogenation is occur is it introduced. After that such kind of the association occur by this complex and the ketone molecule. Then what will be the next step that if we observe this complex, this complex contain the hydrogen, the H as a hydride ion will attack over this the carbonyl center and this oxygen will attract this rudenium. You can see here the structure will look like this. After that what will happen over here that is a negative sign which come uh, over this oxygen will form the bond with the rudenium. Then after that what will happen in the next step. After that what will happen over here that the HCl molecule which was left initially is in the system that HCl molecule have the H plus ion the Cl molecule will be free over here. This H as a H plus will attracted by the lone pair present on this oxygen atom. Now how does this structure look like this will attracted 
by the lone pair present on the oxygen atom then how will the structure will look like the structure will look like this uh, i will draw here that will this phosphine this this these are as it is then so this are the phosphine this is a rhodanium cl is here this oxygen take this h plus ion so it will carry the positive charge and then this structure will as it is this is our as it is structure now after that what will happen over here that the cl molecule which was initially left will attack towards the center and this molecule will be free then what we will get we will regain our catalyst and our alcohol molecule is free from here this which is our required product you can see here the product which is free that is our alcohol this is how the mechanism of the noyori asymmetric hydrogenation look like so we will revise it once that is you can see here what is the first step let us revise the mechanism now see you can see here clearly this is the our catalyst that is a ruthenium uh, binap with a two halide ion this is our catalyst which is used in the uh, noyori asymmetric hydrogenation what is the first step that one of the cl will replace by one of the hydrogen molecule after that there is a kind of the association between the ketone and that ligand and the h as a hydride ion will attack over this carbonyl carbon and there is a formation of the bond with, between the ruthenium and the oxygen after that what will happen you will get such kind of the structure then the hcl which was initially released in the first step will act as a proton donor that is oxygen having the lone pair will attract the h plus and you will get such kind of the structure that is then after that the cl which is get left over here that will again attack on the ruthenium and this bond will be free the resultant product is our alcohol and our catalyst get regenerated this is how the cycle of the noyori asymmetric hydrogenation works that is the form, that is hydrogenation of the ketone to form the alcohol now we will see some sort of the examples by using this noyori asymmetric catalyst that is a binap ruthenium complex you can see over here this is the first question which is a simple ketone which is given and on the arrow the catalyst is get given and we have to do the hydrogenation now what will be the product over here the product over here will be the alcohol as we already seen the mechanism that is ch ch3 then here there will be the formation of the alcohol similarly if you carefully observe this is the r binap okay now this is the s binap then the product will be ph this will remain as it is then oh and then here there will be h now you can see here in the both case the product are same that is the product are alcohol but a difference in the stereo of the product which is obtained now there is one of the trick to identify how to guess the product of which stereo is formed by using the which reagent you, you if you carefully observe in the first case it is at r b i n a p it is at r of the enantiomer then whenever in case of the simple ketone this is one of the trick whenever in case of the simple ketone r binap that is r noyori asymmetric catalyst is get given the alcohol which is form is always above the plane the alcohol group which is all attached is always above the plane while if the s binap is given the alcohol which is form is always below the plane this is how the trick we can uh, which you can use in case of the simple ketone for the noyori asymmetric hydrogenation now what if the second example you can see over here the second example is this now seeing about this second second example the ketone is functionalized now uh, we know that this catalyst that is a noyori asymmetric catalyst do the hydrogenation of the ketone functional group this is you can see here this is the ketonic functional group we have to form here the alcohol we know it clearly that is the secondary alcohol will form then 
now the question comes in mind about the stereochemistry what will be the stereo here again the one of the trick is there see on which side the oxidized group is present okay the oxidized group beside the ketone functional group beside the ketone functional group the oxygen containing group is present at the right hand side okay if the oxygen containing group is present at the right hand side and the r r r b i n a p is given then the form oh will be above the plane then form oh will be above the plane now how what is what did i mean i will explain it clearly that it will be like this the oh which is it will be above the plane and this functional group will remain as it is hmm. okay now on the same reactant if we use the s if we use its s isomer then what will happen s in anisomer then what will happen over here if the oxidized group is on the right hand side if the oxidized group is on the right hand side and s isomer is given on the arrow then the form product the form alcohol which introduced over here will be below the plane okay i hope you get the trick what i mean to say that is whenever there is the s isomer and the more oxygen containing group is on the right hand side then the form oh will be below the plane while if r is given then the form oh will be above the plane if the more oxygen containing group is on the right hand side this is how the trick will work to find the stereo of the product form in the case of the noyori asymmetric hydrogenation we will see one more example by using same reagent that is this one okay now we have to do the hydrogenation of this this is a simple olefin and noyori asymmetric hydrogenation is also used not only to do the hydrogenation of the ketone but also the hydrogenation of the olefin now in this case we have to add the hydrogen that is hydrogen by using a noyori asymmetric catalyst o acetate and r p is used r b i n a p is used now in this case you have to see the oxidized group which is present at the right hand side the oxidized group is present at the right hand side then you have to add both of the hydrogen atom above the plane now how this will be this functional group will remain as it is here there will be the r r and both hydrogen will attach above the plane now what if the same same substrate is given and just uh, we will take the another that is s b i n a p then what will be the product the same rule which we follow for the un uh, function sorry if which which we follow for the functionalized alkene will follow over here you can see the more oxygen containing group is present on the right hand side and on the arrow if the s b i n a p is given then both the hydrogen which is at added across this olefin to do its hydrogenation will be added below the plane then what will be the product over here the product will be here will be same entirely the product will be same just a difference will come in the first case both the hydrogen which were attached were above the plane here the hydrogen which were which will attach will be below the plane this is how the stereo differs in case of the r and s in anisomer of the catalyst after that uh, we will see one more example this is the another example this is the allylic alcohol now in case of the allylic alcohol instead of writing whole catalyst i just mention here r if r binap is given and uh, we have to add the hydrogen across this olefin if r is given the oxidized that is a allylic alcohol is present on the right hand side again it is present on the right hand side then the product which is formed over here that is the hydrogen which will attach across this olefin bond will be above the plane entire structure will remain as it is 
and just hydrogen which were which will attach over this double bond will be above the plane similarly if s is given then then this hydrogen which will attach over here will be below the plane okay this is how the trick we can use to solve the question of the noyori asymmetric synthesis hope you get all this uh, well this was all about the noyori asymmetric hydrogenation i hope you get everything about this reaction any doubt regarding this reaction you can post post it doubt in the comment section and thanks for watching this video have a good day